Good morning, my lovelies. My lovely Dan isn't here. He's chatting to Owen, the owner. I'm just going to show you what we're going to be doing today. Just quick. Just going to have a bit of a spring clean. <laughs> going to change all the bedding and everything. Bleach out all the showers, make it all nice. And I think Dan's got a few jobs and odds and ends to do today. Like refill with water, etc. So yeah, just going to get some lovely spring cleaning done today. Right, good morning from me as well, guys. Uh, we're doing the tanks today. We're going to do them properly. Never really done them properly, have we? No. no. Uh, last night we actually ran out of water. <laughs> so we know the water tank's completely empty. So I'm going to uh, use some of this Aquasol. Uh, just speaking to Owen, and he uses Milton on his motorhome. Oh, I think Bob do is too as well. Possibly. Yeah. A lot of people do. This is actually, I was just looking at the ingredients, it's chlorine, chlorine dioxide. Right, okay, uh, so it's a bit like a bleach. I don't know, I honestly don't know. Um, perfectly tasteless and safe, apparently. Mm -hmm. It says add one cap full to every 25 litres of water. Now I've looked in the book and it says our tank is 155, 50. which is oh, five, six capfuls. Seven. Seven, six yeah. capfuls. Um, leave it in for 12 hours, we're going to leave it in for 24 hours and then empty it again in the morning and refill it with pure water. Yeah. So that's that and we're going to clean out the grey waste as well. We always seem yes. to have problems with cleaning that and as indicator never seems to work properly so I'm going to give that a really good scrub down. And what are you going to use? Um, tank Fresh Super Citrus. So what are you going to do, fill the waste tank up with water and let that soak? Don't know, I haven't read instructions. <laughs> completely empty and completely clean in there, so I'm not worried about that. Um, in fact, I think I'll put the liquid in here now. No, hold on, don't you want to flush it through at least with some clean water? Just... No. Six cap falls into his empty tank. And then I'll fill it up with water and we'll just leave that overnight, Mazzy. Yeah. Uh, we won't drink from it until we do the second stage tomorrow, but we can still use it for washing dishes and stuff if we need to. I've forgotten how many I've put in now. Oh, God. Does it matter? Four? Four? I thought that was As two. Oh, gosh, I don't know. See your little bald patch on the back of your head, honey? It's not a bald patch, it's What's thin it? hair. Oh. I've had that all my life. Okay. So we've got the water on. Now this is the speed we've got. We always have this problem. Not very powerful and it's because we use this hose. Now a lot of people knock these hoses because it doesn't come out very fast but they're just so good for storage. It's so easy to just whip it out, get it on wind it back up, straight back in the van. It does take a good, it's going to take probably 20, 25 minutes to fill this up. But as long as you don't mind waiting, I do advise these, I think they're very good. Apart from this one did split, I'll admit that. But it's all right. There's a lot of ants down here, thousands of them. Yeah, we got this from a trade show. I think it was about 25 pounds, something like that. 30 pounds. It, you know, this is falling to bits, it's not very well put together, but it's all right, it does the job. Whenever you get a hose for a motorhome, all you've got to remember is you need, what do they call it? Um, food grade, I think it's food grade um, hose, something like that. Fresh water grade, something like that, I don't know. But yeah, we're very happy with that. Wasn't sure when we first got it, but it does the job. In it? It's not fantastic. There's something big in there. Like... Ew! <laughs> let me get some. Let me get a bin bag. I'm not sure if that's a leaf. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I can see loads of particles at the bottom there. Yeah. We're not on the ideal angle to get it all out, but it's okay because we're doing it again tomorrow. Yeah. So tomorrow. We'll park the other way and then we'll get a better angle to get it completely empty. 
so Dan's just put the fan on the ramp just to get that little angle to get the last bit out of the waste tank. Is that correct? Yeah, because the problem with waste tank is the hole's on this side, not that side. Yeah. So you need to raise it up to get the last bit of wood dregs to the hole bit. Does that make any sense? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But it's working, it's working. We've got a lot more coming out. Yay! Don't, don't even, don't even <laughs> put a comment in. Don't put a comment in. We didn't know there were that there. No. That is disgusting. It just shows, it's doesn't like, it? It's it's here. It's attached to the very, very yeah. top. So I do think we need to fill it up to the top and leave it soak, don't we? That is disgusting. I'm sorry. What stage are we up to? Uh, the bad bit. <laughs> <laughs> no stage is good, Mazzy. Uh, right, so I've got about half a tank now. This is going to squirt everywhere, sorry. No, that's it. Now I'm just going to play around with the edges and see if we can get more off, drain it off. Put a bit more in. We'll leave it overnight. And then we'll empty it in the morning. You know, we'll just play with it, Mazzy. Are you trying to get your head down there? Oh, oh man. It's ridiculous. We really need to give you a better way of getting into it. Because there's corners you just can't... I can get my elbow in. But even from there to there, I cannot reach right into the top corners. And it's just full of gunk. You've done amazing. It just shows, doesn't it? Yeah, well, we're going to release this water now. And you're going to see just how much gunk is in there. Okay, we wait till I get out and record then. We had no idea. Ew. Ew, the colour of it. Oh yeah, you can see chunks of something coming down there. <laughs> so Dan's just given it a last, I think it's near enough empty, he's just given it a rinse through. So the worst technically should be coming out. So I've just asked Dan, I've been washing the shower down properly. Just to double, double, double check that this leak that it's definitely not leaking, that you've sealed it well. Well... Right? <laughs> uh, there is... There does seem to be a bit of wet down there, but it doesn't come... It's not coming from the plug, from the sink. Is it a lot? It looks dry under there. You know how I showed you the other day? Yeah. It looked like a tiny bit. Yeah. It looks like there might be a tiny bit there. Right, OK, but nothing too, too drastic to worry about, Let right? me get my hand on it. Mm, it's... It is wet, it is, is it? wet, uh, but it is a very little, I don't think it's all to worry about. Okay. Especially with it being summer. I'm not worried about that. But that's not, definitely not coming from the plug, it's coming from a different I think part. as long as it's not going to flood everywhere, the boot and all the underneath. I'll tell you what it might be coming from. Yeah? There's a tiny little gap there. Oh, yeah. It might be getting down there. Never know. And that's cracked there. You never know, it could just be one of these little cracks. I'll see all that sometime and just might make yeah. a difference. But yeah, not worried about that. So a quick little drive back to where we was. Girl, it's swooshing a little bit, baby. Faster! <laughs> Faster! Five mile an hour on a campsite, Mildy. <laughs> yeah. That should help swish it around. Oh, exhausted. It's really taking it out on me. Has it? Yeah. So, the fan is all fresh and looking lovely. Shower all clean. Toilet's all clean. Got some dishcloths soaking in some bleach. Dan's cleaned the wastewater tanks. And the place is all lovely. Yep. We work well together, me and Dan. It's time for Agony Trolls. Yes. Agony Trolls. I think his advice was taken yesterday and went down quite well. Especially Mazzy telling the woman to kill herself. <laughs> I hope you're still alive and well today. <laughs> We've got another one. This one just yeah. came in last night actually. Okay. So I'll read it out. I don't know if anyone's even noticed, but the, the music I bought in the background, it used to be played back in the 90s 
well, I think for like 20, 30, 40 years on the radio as a background to an Agony Ant radio show. I never knew what it was. But People my age you, will and above. Yeah, the, the old ones. <laughs> it were good, it were a good radio show. Anyway, here we are. Yeah. This is from Jeff. Hiya, Dan and Mazzy. I have a poser, which is like a problem. I have a, I've got a problem. Yeah. And perhaps you two could make one or two suggestions. My wife and I will have been married for 50 years on the 4th of July this year. Mm. Well, so much wrong there for a start, but mm. right, let's carry on. 50 years with the same woman? It's worked. Okay, okay. <laughs> Um, and I had looked forward to celebrating it with, with at least my sons, their wives and our four grandsons. But because of the lockdown, the chances are we won't be able to even go for a meal or have the family around. It's very disappointing and I'm at a loss as to what I can do to make the day special for my wife. Any ideas that don't include Gorilla Tape? <laughs> Okay, Jeff. That's a very good question. Fifty. That's a massive, massive celebration. That's a massive celebration. And when you can't celebrate with your family, yeah, it must be quite hard for you if you're a family. I'm sure there's been many well. celebrations where lots of people have had the similar situations. So th this advice might help other people. This advice will help everybody. <laughs> yeah. Right. Shall I answer first? Can I answer? Because I've got kind of two. No, go on then. Give right. your first. So my first one will just be positive. Kill yourself. Is it going to be kill no. yourself? No. Not kill yourself be today. Be positive. It's still early days yet. Things may change. You just never know. So just stay positive. And keep smiling and oh, stay you positive. Sound, you sound like an agony on ant off TV. We're uh, special. We give proper advice. We don't just copy all them other I'm agony ants. I'm a amps. woman. You sound like someone who makes the stars up. Well, it is still early days, so, you know, stay positive. Nah, ignore that advice. <laughs> right, I've got some advice for you. And this is, this is serious good advice we've got for you today. Yeah. There's, I've been reading a lot in the news about a new app. Now, this is my worry. If they've been married for 50 years, they're going to be knocking on and they're probably not very good at computers and apps and oh, stuff. Oh, yeah. But, you know, if you have a laptop, if you have a computer, Get the app called Zoom. Everyone's talking about Zoom because people who are off work but they want to talk to each other in like meetings, have, have work meetings, they're using Zoom and it's like a, a conference thing. Where so you can have like two or three join in, is that what you You can mean? have like eight people, oh. uh, 10, 12 people, however many right. you want, and you can see a picture of all 12 people in front of you yeah. and they can see you and you can talk to each other. So it's a little bit like being there. It's not like being there, but it's a little bit. Now, the reason I've mentioned this is because I said to Mazzy, yeah. this is a brilliant idea for a first date. If you don't actually want to go on a first date, <laughs> make a meal. Hold on, we're going off the top topic now. Then. No, no, we're not, no, we're not. Okay. <laughs> you can make a meal, sign into Zoom, or there's others, there's other, yeah, there's, there's other sure one-on-one -on -one yeah. things. Yeah. Um, and you can actually have your computer in front of you, be looking at them, they can make a meal, you can make a meal, and you can chat to each other as you're having a meal. And it wouldn't be awkward. And it wouldn't be awkward. Yeah, you could just click a button and think, oh God, no, wrong one. Next! <laughs> I think it's a brilliant idea. I just don't know if they're going to be that sassy with the internet to be able to do that, because I don't even I know if I wouldn't. could. Oh, yeah. But if I everybody in your family could download Zoom and sign in, you could all have a laptop or a phone in front of you. It could be recording you and you could be seeing everybody else and talking to everyone. And just spend that quality time, maybe all having a meal or raising a glass or something at the same time. So you could have your own meat. You don't even have to have what you're given. You can have what you want to eat. Yeah, and what you You don't have to, to wash drink. up everyone else's yeah. plates. <laughs> I think that's a really good idea. Yeah. So that's my suggestion, if possible. But there must be like 70 or 80 or 90 or 100 or something, so I doubt they're going to be sassy. Ah, uh, this doesn't mean you're not sassy because you're 100 years old. Oh my god, I'm well, going to be sassy. Well, if you're 100 years old, it means you should be dead, really. Let's be honest. Oh, uh, I... Well, you said it yesterday. Ah! 
<laughs> right, so you've got another idea, haven't you? Well, this is more of a gift idea. A gift idea yeah. to make his, his wife happy on her 50th. And here's one I made earlier. Is. Here's one she made earlier. <laughs> made this for Dan. This was um, this was your birthday gift. That was Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day gift, yeah. And uh, it's stayed in the box since I gave it to him. He like just shoved it in the boot. But anyway, random box, any kind of a box. Doesn't even have to be in a box, no, does it? Doesn't even have to be in a box. <laughs> and I just read all the lovely words. You know what meant to me, what Dan means to me, right? So you could just do some. So you've got like things that. on there like cute, cute sexy, sexy, funny, handsome, caring. The list is endless, honestly. I'm that good. It's just endless. Yeah. But that's just the box. So if you go inside. Now, why have I written reasons why? Am reason, I crushed? reasons why you love me. That's what oh, this is all about. Oh right, I was wondering if was I questioning why I'm even with you. <laughs> I'm only joking. So this is your gift, wasn't it? Do you want to show them? I can show them. Oh, it's a little bit kind of because it. Ha oh gosh, it's gone damp. Okay. Oh, unfortunately. It's a bit mouldy. Never mind. Yeah. And it's all stuck together. It's all stuck. Oh no! <laughs> right. What Mazzy did? I don't know if did you get some help to do this no, or did you buy no. the hearts? It no, I did full, buy the hearts. Yeah. It's full of tiny little hearts, and she's written on every single heart why she's with me and what why she likes about me. You. For example, yeah. funny, handsome, you're sexy, sweet, caring, cuddly, And fun. each one is different. Smelly bum. Yeah. Smelly bum. She's wrote you, smelly you, bum on that one. You know why I've written that. <laughs> Bestie, clever, happy. There's loads in there. This has gone mouldy inside, one, has I it? I know, that's very disappointing. It's ruined. We'll need to yeah. change that. But you could come but up with something point, like this. Yeah, my point is, have you got 50 something, right? Because it's your 50th anniversary. I don't know, 50 anything. And put like a frame or made a frame. You might be a carpenter. 50 stones or 50, 50 something. Mm -hmm. You can write all your family names on there. So you're all included in on this gift, this special gift. My, and all the reasons why you love your wife. And... There could be pictures of 50 people. Yeah. Who the, who Chuck anything love. in. Chuck 50 things that mean a lot. An earring, a bracelet, There's anything. There's a spider in there, Mazzy. I There's know. There's a big cobweb. Oh, gosh, yeah, that's really Don't do it like this. Ruin. Don't do it like this, Jeff. No, this was beautiful when I made that for you, wasn't it? Well, my it? idea was 50. There's something different for every year. Like, year one, I think, is paper. Yeah. 25 or is diamond or something. Yeah. So you could have all... One of each of those. One of all the different years in yeah. something but i think that's a good and honestly when i got that that is the most special meaningful present anyone has ever he done for me was quite tearful wasn't i was you? i was in shock no one's ever done anything like that for off me. camera you were so soppy it, was, it is beautiful <laughs> admittedly i've let it, you know just rot away in back and it's got yeah. cobwebs in it and it's moldy like dan said if the first one's paper second one's wood or something put 50 he's had it ma mazzy yeah. He's had enough advice. Nine and a yeah. half minutes. Well, there we go. Nine and a half minutes. Do you know how much therapists <laughs> charge for things like this? I know exactly how much. <laughs> Ten minutes. <laughs> so that's us, Agony Trolls advice for today. I Look at me hard. air, Mazzy. It's because we had no water this morning. I'll wash no. it. In. I'll wash it tomorrow now. <laughs> um, next thing I want to do is I'm going to get under the van. Ooh, okay. I'm going to try and find out where the oil leak is coming from. Ooh. And I've just found out. Yeah. Superstar Owen. Yeah. The campsite man was a mechanic for 40 years. <laughs> 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 so I'm going to get under there, take some pictures, take some videos, and if I can't work out where it's coming from, I'm sure he'll be able to tell me from the videos. So come with me. Us. Us? What are you going to do? Hold the camera. One thing I did want to talk about today was the weather, Mazzy. Yeah. Because it said today was going to be 18 degrees at the moment, mm -hmm. getting up to 20 degrees this afternoon. Where's the sun? Let's go move around a bit. Um, but I looked at the thermometer inside and it said 24 degrees. That was in the shade and it was cool in there. Yeah. So I brought the <laughs> thermometer outside to see how hot it was out here. Now, it's not worked. What do you mean? Well, it says 26 now. 
Oh no, that was over 30 a minute that ago. That said 30 when we just picked it up. Yeah. It now says 26 because I've had it in my hand or down here or something. But oh. 30 degrees. 30 degrees. Well, I just picked it up and it was over 30. Mm. So why yeah. does, does the weatherman say it's 18 to 20 when it's 30? Well, thank God he's not saying it's raining. So I've actually actually come in. It's getting way too hot out there and Dan actually ended up with a bit of heat stroke last night. He's still over there talking to Owen. Yeah, so I'm going to have to come in now. Um, but I f he never did have his fry up yesterday. So... I'm going to do Dan a special fry up meal today. Slight change to today's dinner. Dan just fancies something cold, so I've prepared him two sandwiches tuna and mayo and thinly sliced red onion. And he's going to have this one now. We'll cut into triangles, and I'm going to have a cheese and ham toasty with a cup of coffee. So we're going to leave it at that. Um, the oil find and fix and stuff didn't happen. Yet. Yet. <laughs> I've started the job, I've recorded some things, but I haven't recorded everything I need to do to give you the video I want to give you. But yeah, things are looking good and positive, aren't they, Mazzy? Today's been wonderful. It's been very productive, yeah. and I have been fantastic yeah. in all the jobs I've been doing. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, the oil thing, we're going to keep that for another day. Yeah. We might throw it in tomorrow if we don't have any video ideas or anything to show you. Well, we've got to get the part first, haven't we? Shh. Oh. Yeah. Thank you for joining. Hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, send us your agony problems to travel trolls TV at hotmail.com and any other video ideas or questions you might have for us. Yeah. Have a wonderful day, have a wonderful evening, and enjoy the beautiful sunshine. Love you all! Bye bye! Thanks, Thanks for, for watching! watching. Please comment and hit the like button, that helps our channel grow. If you like what you see, click here to subscribe. Check out this other great video. And if you really want to show your support, join the club, become a Patreon for extra videos and perks. The more support we get, the more content we can give. We'll see you tomorrow on Travel, Travel Trolls, Trolls TV. TV.